Ooh. Ooh. Dang, she didn't fall. I can try again. Sorry guys, maybe next time. <laughs>
So, we found the first downside of traveling with a trailer like this. Obviously, it's just parking, but all of the RV parking at the lake that we're at right now was filled, so I parallel parked with the trailer on the street. Granted, it's a huge spot, so we're just taking up all the room. And that guy's parked backwards. <laughs> yeah. Forerunner drivers, you know. Typical forerunner driver. Yikes. And it's and white. white. So it's a female for sure. Rude. Zip it. You are here. Touching the teat. I want to touch it. <gasps> We're both touching it. Wow, that is cold. Doing so good. Dang, she didn't fall. I can try again. Sorry guys, maybe next time. <laughs> They're like thermal daisies. Well that was a little bit of a process there. I always kind of forget how busy national parks and the surrounding areas can get in the summertime. So after we visited the first lake in the Tetons, we kept going to another lake. And for tonight, I wanted to camp in between Yellowstone, which is like right over there, and then the Tetons, which are like right here. So kind of right between the national parks. Checked out two different campgrounds and ran into a little trailer trouble again. We went down a super narrow one lane type of road. The campground was full so we came back out and on the way out there was a 170 extended sprinter towing a trailer. So sprinter to sprinter, nose to nose. I started backing up but I had like probably 100, 200 yards to go. The other guy had a quicker route to back up and turn around. So I started backing up. It took me like a minute or two to get back to where I could actually turn around and then the other guy started going. So long story short, when you're on a one lane road and you are traveling with a trailer, you have to think about spots where you can actually turn around. So all of the campgrounds were full, which is fine. I typically never really stay at like established campgrounds. So we made it out of the park, still in between the two though. And we are on national forest land. There are freaking mosquitoes everywhere. It's buggy because we're right by this beautiful lake. So luckily we found this spot, but I am still a little bit bummed because these bugs are bad and I wanted to sleep in the tent. One more thing to note about trailer and a van set up like this. If you want to sleep on flat level ground and use all of the water drains in a vehicle like the Storyteller, I'm pretty good at getting these things level now. I don't carry leveling blocks. I basically just kind of scope out the camp spot and then I will find appropriate sized rocks to get this thing sitting level that way. When we shower tonight, everything will drain as it should. Now, if you want both of these to be level, that's something else that you gotta think about. So we backed into this spot, decided it was pretty buggy, and we're not gonna use the tent tonight. So I just leveled the van, and I don't know, maybe if it changes, we'll pop the tent, because the weather is super nice right now. Not a bad spot, right? No, and I'm not getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yes. This one's gonna be interesting. 
All right, so the sun is setting. We ate dinner, kind of like some leftovers and other random stuff that we had in the van. I got some work done for the past couple of hours and I'm currently uploading a video via Starlink. So hopefully it works. I've got eight minutes left. Now I need to go grab that thing out of the trailer. Have fun. Ah. Oh my gosh, these mosquitoes are relentless. Ah. Let me in, let me in. Okay, I got it. I got it, I got it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's no way you could even open a tent right now without getting annihilated. Oh, there's one. Infested. So just before we left on this leg of the trip that we're on right now, I got this package from a company called Terraflame. So I thought this thing in photos looked a little bit smaller than it actually is, but this right here is like a personal fire pit, which you can cook s'mores on. So since we're not gonna be outside with all the bugs, even though they're in here with us now, we are going to set this thing up and try to cook s'mores inside of the van. So romantic. So the fuel for this thing is an isopropyl and ethanol flame. It's kind of like what you would put underneath like one of those warming dishes at a buffet. But you're supposed to shake it up before you pop it open. This thing is supposed to produce about a seven inch flame. It's supposed to crackle like firewood. So we will see how this goes. going. It sure is. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see that on camera, but definitely adds a little bit of warmth. A little ambiance. Oh. Ooh, look at that flame. Wow. Wow. We need lights for now. Marshmallow, please. Dark chocolate. Now we're talking. Welcome to Testies. Where we test stuff out and tell you how it is. Today we're testing campfire s'mores inside of the Storyteller. Dink. <laughs> I love s'mores. I'm not a huge s'more guy, but when it's this easy, that's a 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Movie time. What are you doing up there? I'm reading. Murder mysteries. No, this is a psychological thriller. Oh, a psychological thriller. So the s'mores were great. I just brushed my teeth. Thank God. And I'm waiting for this one to get ready for bed. I want to get to 60%. She takes an hour to get ready in the morning, and then an hour. <laughs> and then an hour to get into bed at night. When my skin. Is this soft? Your skin looks so great. Yeah, look at it. Look at mine. You know what I did? I went like this in the shower. Look at how good my skin looks. Look at that. See? Do you see how beautiful this looks? Yeah, it's so great. All the girls in the comments, drop them. I'll give you that skincare routine. So tomorrow, we're going to probably head into Yellowstone, which is a national park that I have only been to like a very small percentage of because I came here in the wintertime. Summertime, national parks like Yellowstone get crazy packed. I'm assuming we're going to be sitting in the van a lot tomorrow. So because of that, I actually posted on Instagram. It's a little too late by the time you guys are watching this video, but I asked you guys to ask me questions about van life. Ask Ashley how we deal with each other being in the van. He makes it sound like it is so incredibly difficult and off-putting. No. Uh, that's not what I'm that's not what I'm doing. We can give people tips. We've been doing this for a long time Yeah, and I think we've gotten a lot better at it. That's why I'm saying we should give people tips on Tip is buy your girlfriend a Kindle. You'll never see her again. Yeah, it's actually not bad advice <laughs> So as we kind of like drive around tomorrow through Yellowstone I'm gonna be answering a bunch of questions that you guys asked so stay tuned for that 
I guess that's all for today. So if you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week. As always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.